light to Anhuze Bus Inbev and SAB Miller for the approval of their $107 billion merger. Well, this comes after the two companies agreed to do away with beer assets and preserve competition from independent craft brewers. And yet, home Vodacom expects to report an increase in revenue for the quarter ended the 30th of June. The approval comes with a number of stipulations. As part of the deal, the Belgian brewer will make concessions beyond its publicly stated offer to sell SAB's stake in Melacours. It will also have to curb its use of incentive programs to limit competition. It had previously reported that the U.S. regulators were investigating AB InBev's practice of financially rewarding beer distributors for selling more of its own beer than its competitors. Craft beer companies had vocally objected the practice, arguing that it hurts their ability to sell. The regulators say independent distributors will have the freedom to sell and promote the variety of beers that many Americans drink. Globally, the deal positions the combined companies to produce almost a third of the world's beer, dwarfing other major producers like Heineken and Carlsberg. InBev will have more breweries in Latin America and Asia, and an entrance to Africa as major markets such as the United States weakened due to craft beer popularity. Locally, Vodacom Group released its trading update for the quarter ended 30 June 2016. It says it sustained a robust growth revenue of 5.8%, up from 3.4%, while adding 1 million more customers in the quarter. But its international service revenue increased only slightly by 2.8%, impacted by a new customer registration process. Data revenue also increased 19.4% to 5.4 million rand, and its capital expenditure for the three-month period was at 2.7 million rand. Diabosito, SABC News.